What are, what, are you, what are you eating? Is that a lollipop? How do you let it get so little at that point? At some point, you just bite it. It's called eat. discipline, Adrian. This is Charms Mini. Discipline. Oh, discipline. I, I dropped my other one. Oh, Chase, just do you just Bang! Keep, you just keep on sucking lollipops, Chase? You just keep oh, on look sucking. at that, Adrian. I think you just have to look at that, Adrian. Oh wow, look at the size but difference. Yeah, those you just suck on it for like a minute and you bite them. I'll suck on you for a minute. Bite you. <laughs> <laughs> keep it up. It was coming. We all knew it was coming. Oh, I'll be. Coming. Hopefully. Shut up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, on YouTube, it, like, you can't make any, like, profane joke for the first, like, five minutes of the episode. Or it'll, like, uh, demonetize you, even though we're not monetized yet. Bleep it out for the first five minutes. I don't want to, though. What are we, we talking about? Crocheting? <laughs> in the first... <coughs> My yeah, knitting. you know what? Let's talk about knitting. This is something original what if we were putting out an educational video about dick and balls we just i think we would have to like re be registered as like an educational whoa, platform whoa. on whoa i'm already registered for one thing I... all right i mean you're just you're making it so bad for yourself honestly the mu just yeah, the mustache with everything. it I'm not going to bleep out everything. That's not something people want to listen to, you got Adrian. like four days to edit this thing. Just no, five minutes. Of, just five straight minutes. Of... <laughs> what do you mean one? I edit it on Tuesday, and then it comes out on Wednesday. I thought you wanted to start releasing them on Friday. No, we said Wednesday. Oh, I thought you were saying Friday. I, was like, I thought okay. you said seven day. There are seven days. Yeah. No, I really thought you said Friday, but you wanted to... I think we were just saying days, but I think we just agreed on, like, Wednesday. Because I didn't want to do it on Friday. I I, no, see, this this is the thought process. Friday, it's like, usually people listen to podcasts when they're coming into work or going into work. Most people don't, like, want to go into work on Friday. So... Most people are listening to hood music going into work, because nobody wants to be there. All right. They need something to make put them in a hateful mood. Everyone at the DMV does it. That's why they're so fucking angry when you go. No, they're just listening to our podcast. Everybody at the DMV is listening to some... They should just play over the speakers. Oh, I they can fucking lick my nuts. I hate people at the DMV. They suck. Yeah, they do they're suck. Can't I hate... Can't do your job. Speaking of sucking, can you just chew it? Can you just bite it, please? Get it? You can bite it now. Don't... Don't, like... Just... Interrupt him. I, like I said, it's like discipline. At this mm -hmm. point, he's not sucking it. He's brushing his fucking teeth with it. He's so... Well, yeah, fucking... he's trying to go for the record of most cavities in one mouth. Mm -hmm. Damn. That's disgusting. I wonder who has... I had to get two cavities filled the other day. It was like a month ago. I think at one time I had like three or four. They're not fun, dude. They, just, they numb my mouth and then... I oh, lucky you. It was just like it was numb for like the rest of the day. I'm just like I'm sitting here with like a puffed up lip, and I had plans later. I wish I didn't. I, for most of my cavities, I didn't get numbed up. They just got in there. When they would hit that nerve, filling it and stuff, I'd be like, make it end. Yeah, you you need to. Uh, I think you should go to a different dentist. Every time I've gotten a cavity, they've always this was like, when I was a kid. Also, when I was in the navy. That could also they don't be usually num numbing for cavity fillings usually isn't done because usually you don't have to. I guess doesn't Gannon don't you have like PTSD from the dentist Navy dentist? That was terrible. <laughs> Do you? That was the worst time ever. <laughs> what they do? Didn't they have to like pull up some teeth? Or whatever? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. I get my Before wisdom teeth removed. Oh Before yeah. You. Or you delve into the story. Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of the Something Original Podcast. My name is Adrian. I don't know why you cut it off, but I'm Chase. Well, my name is Gannon. <laughs> I just like... want to get the intro out of the way so we can continue the story. 
uh, I mean, I'm sure it would have been included. Ganon finished story. Finish story. Um, so it was like back in boot camp out there in the Navi. And uh, they were like, hey, buddy, you're going to get two of them wisdom teeth moves. And I said, well, I guess if there's no backing out. And then I got two, huh? And like, then, can I go home at this point or what? <laughs> that was the worst part of it. And uh, go in there and, and they didn't speak English, which is, is fine. And, you know, I like a convenience store. But if I'm getting my teeth removed, I'd like to understand what's going on. And um, then I was laid down in a, uh, like, one of their um, little surgery table. Yeah. yeah, table platform. And, and uh, my cat's jumping everywhere, so it's not helping the ADHD. But, um, yeah, dude. Then so I'm laying there, and then they blindfold me for some reason. No, so they don't. Do that, they really? Seriously. Straight up blindfolded me mind you, you in, the ba- in the back in the background um this should help tell uh what kind of language they were they were listening to spanish music to give you the ambiance of it terrifying in that in these certain situations spanish music outside of a dental office help you know i'm there with it let's get it cool if i'm on a surgical table with a blindfold on the last thing i want to hear is that you know why? Um, Why is the last thing you want to hear in Spanish? Because it's stressful. It's really, really upbeat, and it's like, you know, really high paced m- music. Get not understanding what's being said, too. Yeah, so you got that whole atmosphere going on, and then they're gonna then start prod my mouth for numbing, and that was not fun. Then they, uh, then you hear the the saw, the mini saw turn on with the blindfold too i'm just like please dear lord help me get out of this and it's like (laughs) and then they broke one of them pulling it out nice this is sweet one of them they had to renumb because it was like not a good numb i'm like oh yeah i still feel that let's keep going then (laughs) let's get the dosage higher i don't want to feel my head after like the amount of numbing i had the opposite experience really i was put um, to sleep for my wisdom teeth because oh, mine was it? also in boot camp my first the first set i got out i think it was the top ones i got out and um i i had people who spoke english and all that and like at every step they were telling me like okay we're gonna do this okay we're about to inject your gum with the numbing okay we're gonna do it again or whatever how many times you're like, okay, we're going to turn on the saw. It's going to, the dudes told me too. They were real cool. They were like, we're going to turn on the saw. It's going to sound a little scary at first. You're going to be fine. You're not going to feel anything. You're not going to feel any pain, but you're going to feel like all the stuff we're doing. And then Mm -mm. they they got to work and every time they were doing something, they would let me know like, hey, we're doing this, blah, blah, blah. Like at any point, you know, put a thumb, uh, thumbs down if something's not going good or whatever. Like we had music playing and, they were trying to have conversation with me. It was hard to fucking talk. Well, I, you know what? Dennis needs to stop talking to you when you when your <laughs> mouth is full of their fucking fingers. Like, shut up. So how was your day going? <laughs> 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 no, they, knew, they, was... knew, they actually knew one word, <laughs> and it's the last thing you want to hear when having a salt in your mouth. And it was oh uh, no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I had a tooth like like you. I had one that broke while they were cutting. They they were like they're like, okay, this one broke. It's not gonna be a problem. We're just gonna have to pull little pieces out instead of the whole thing. And I was like, like all right, cool. We're gonna get to doing that. Yeah, that's right. They blindfold uh, you. Yeah, I think it's to like protect your eyes from like the light and like anything that might happen. And also, probably don't want to see people drilling into your mouth. No. <laughs> The blindfold actually kind of made it feel a little better because it's just like put me, put me to sleep, bro. Because like for the most part, like they weren't like they weren't like directly talking to me or something, so like I could just put my mind in a different place because I didn't feel any pain. It was more of just like a time oriented, like okay, can we get this shit over with? Like, so like why wanna... why did you have to get it done in the navy? Well, because they do they check you. I mean, they do all like physicals and stuff like extensive. Yeah. No finger in the butt, but 
No. <clears throat> Too bad. And it, I mean, it's they they check and it's, it's time for time for your your teeth to come out. They don't want it to be something that like comes up later if they can get it out now. So the yeah. peanut butter saw it. Ooh, that one fucking sucked. <laughs> that what? one was a shot of like thick whatever type of goop. Was it a vaccine or was it penicillin? I don't know. Something. It, and just right in the ass. But the fucked up thing is they make you get – it's a long table. And yep. they make you stand there, pull your cheek out, and you're standing in front of somebody else. Yeah, looking them right in the eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. Mm. You ready for this, partner? I was lucky. <laughs> the first time I was across from one of the dudes I talked to all the time. So, like, it wasn't as awkward because, like, we were already kind of cool. Oh, so it's kind of intimate in that moment. Not not intimate, but it's just like <laughs> it was like one of those things. Like shit, dude, this is a thing we're actually doing. Like, fuck, what are we doing? Like, then yeah. you like take one of those situations. Hold my hand, bro. Hold my hand, bro. What the fuck are we doing right now? <laughs> That's the one thing. Like needles and shit don't like really bother me as much, but I just hate. I would hate going through a line and just doing that nonstop. Oh, you want to talk about yeah, that, that was before the before yeah. you get to the peanut butter shot, you're literally walking and depending on what shots you have to get, there it's literally a line. You stop and they're just like tsk, tsk, on like either side and they're like, keep going, and then you go to the next one. Mm. It's like, God damn fuck shit, fuck ah, ah, fuck <laughs> stop stabbing me. Please. Those are good times. <laughs> Those are good times. Oh. But yeah. Uh I'll have to get free education and disability pay. Yeah. I'm surprised, honestly, they don't inject you guys with, like, a super serum at this point, you know? Like, that'd be sick. That would be sick. Loki, like, I would go in just to get that and just come out, like, Captain America. That's probably just... what it was, is they wouldn't be able to regulate you after you got out. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, people, people just, like, picking up cars and throwing it. Of, like, Especially, like, the they, come back 18... with, they come back with yeah. PTSD, too, so they're oh, just yeah. like, oh, yeah. The actual Imagine giving Hulk. a bunch of like eighteen to like twenty one year olds super soldier serum, like in mass. You can't control that. Oh, imagine yeah. putting young us with fucking super soldier serum on that fucking shit again. Like, during, during what would you 40, guys do during the forty eight hour checks and you just break someone's jaw off? <laughs> <laughs> I've been slept for days. <gasps> no, let's say you guys. <laughs> You guys come back from overthrowing your third country, uh, th third government. Uh, you come back to America. Um, what are you guys doing? You you becoming superheroes, right, or super villains? I'm finding a secluded place, and I'm living away from any loud noises because I feel like at that point I can hear a spoon drop and just flashbacks. Yeah. Uh, probably <laughs> depending on like what abilities I was given, I might you know. Probably, I would just say like super strength. I would just imagine like super strength, like increased like stamina, durability, all that stuff. I already yeah, overthrew like three. Dude... Oh, <laughs> um, you know the dude from a uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Yeah. Uh, the the black guy who got the soldier serum, the super soldier serum. It was like Isaiah something. I forgot his full name. Oh, Rashawn. I would have been like him, just. Living in peace, not telling a fucking person what I could do, just staying away from that shit. Yeah. Keep me far away from that. I if I overthrow hero. three governments, I can overthrow a fourth. That's all I'm saying. Looking at you, America. If I could throw, overthrow three governments, I'd have, se I'd have severe mental trauma. <laughs> and I'd want to just go home. Yeah. I heard China, like I heard China's trying to do something like that, like make super soldiers, but that could just be like Western propaganda. But I was gonna say I was gonna try to make a joke, but I knew immediately it just sounded very... sounded a little racist. So it's let's just, just keep that racist. in the back of the back of the bag. I feel like Gan knows exactly the joke I'm gonna make. The you whoa, throw Gan under the whoa. bus now. <laughs> No, because he knows me. He knows Whoa. exactly what you're He knows what stupid shit I would say in a situation like this. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing to stop Asian hate, Adrian? Yeah. 
Uh, I'm not watching any Mark Wahlberg movies. I'm supporting local businesses. I do like me a nice buffet. (laughs) You know what? Like our favorite like uh, Chinese restaurant closed down here. Dude, they gave you the Mongolian chicken, bro. That I would get. It would it would be like ten bucks. You would get enough for like three servings. They closed down. What are they doing in Mongolia with that shit? They put their Dude. whole mongoosey in that. Fuck. Some like <laughs> when we go to hot pot, we get the Mongolian broth. So good. I love Mongolian Whoa. beef. Any like Mongolian sauces. Whole mongoosey. Oh, I thought you said Mongolian there. sausage, Mongolian beef. The mongoosey though. Obviously. Can we talk about that? that? The mongoosey. Mongoosey. I'm telling you, Mongolian food. Just the spices they use. Just like I like that's why I love Indian food too. The spices. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I love me a good I've I love growing up and experiencing like new food because I know like back in back in the day when I was a child, I would never try like curry or any of that like non Steph Curry. Shut up. I, w- I would never try that, but once I got older and was more experienced, I started delving into the other foods and do curry slept on i love curry so much mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. well curry really isn't because i looked this up once and it's still kind of confusing to me the whole thing behind curry because like you'll hear like chicken curry and stuff but that's not like actually authentic indian like authentic indian yeah. food they don't like cur- there's no meat there's no chicken curry like curry is just like a I don't know. It's Do you guys ever have those things? Thing. You just look it up. You dip in a sauce, right? And they're like the shape of a triangle. They're like a Indian hot pocket is the best way I can describe it. It's got like meat and stuff in the oh, inside of it. Never. I think I've heard of those. They dip it in a sauce. Sounds good. Sounds good. They, they dip it in a sauce. It's so good. I forgot what it's called. First time I had Indian food was uh, Hawaii. The first time we had went. Really? For rim pack. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was when I had went hiking with um, Holt. The is, this <laughs> is this the name I need a bleep or? I mean, no. okay. but that's the and dude though. That was the man. He's a man. We went drunk hiking. We were drinking all the way up. Is that the day that he woke up in the stall? I don't know. I know it's the day we were drinking. We went drunk hiking. Then we went and got Indian food. Then he went and got, like, I think he went and fucked this, like, 50-year-old, like, prostitute in this fucking Hawaiian, like, bar, club thingy, whatever. And I just waited outside. Top of the ABC stores to get drinks. That's what what we did before. Brown bag in Hawaii. We got a, no, we had got a bottle of crown and like these big gatorades and we dumped some gatorade out and just like poured like half in each bottle We're just drinking on the way up dude Getting silly goosey we like don't that recommend dude. it don't drunk hike i was i thought i was fsa when i went to rim pack but i remember we i actually went with him as well one day and we bought our skateboards because we were just gonna like cruise around try to find like a nice so we were trying to get to the other side over at um What's that? What's the other side of the island? Like you get dropped off on one side, and then we were take a taxi, it. and then we saw it get up to sixty bucks. We're like, "Hey, we're good. We're just gonna get out." Mind you, it's like mountain road cliff. So then we're just like walking along this cliff, and so we got to a point where it was jumpable, and then <laughs> took took our we had like our backpacks and our skateboards, put them above our heads, and just jump, dude, down into this water. Swear everything then we, because we saw the beach in the distance, so we just started swimming over to the beach. Full, <laughs> full clothing, soaked, dude. We we're just like, we we're just like, screw it. It was sweet though, because then we got out, right? And it was like, it was hot enough; it, it dried off after a little while. We got, definitely had some soggy shorts going on. But then we went to the suburban area of Hawaii where it had like cherry blossoms all over. It was like this town where, the, for some reason, like there, Whoa. every tree there had cherry blossoms. It was so cool. Worth it. Worth every bit of uh, just <laughs> better than my experience. Yeah, what? It was sweet. Yeah, we just got drunk on a hike, and then I had to 
Wait, well, he well got we did that too at the same time. That's why I, I was able to jump. Dude, you know I got a fear of sharks. I didn't want to jump in this water at all, but the vodka helped. That's what helped me jump into that water. So you ju- you jumped into like the ocean, not like a lake or anything, or oh no, that was straight up ocean going up to a oh. beach. Oh yeah, wild, wild. Yeah, I was built yeah, different we had back some pretty, then. Pretty good times on the ship, doing something like Dubai. That was fun. <laughs> Where I didn't get let in times. one place, and I walked down the street, got let in there. <laughs> Forty minutes later, he comes back over to us, drunk as shit already. It's been forty minutes. And first off, I don't know if we've told this story yet. I, I feel like we're retelling the story already. I don't know. But basically, we're getting our IDs checked. And the guy look, checks our IDs. We're 20 at the time. And he looks at me and he's like, how old are you? And I, I was, just looked I was, at him and said, 21. I was Immediately, 18, I said 21. I was 18, 19. I was like 18, 19. Yeah. I, because I'm, like young, I'm like a year younger than you. But yeah. And so. Old fart. No, you were 20 because it was after your 20th. Are you sure? We were there in like October. Because the Plymouth was like 2017. That was two years after I graduated. I graduated the age yeah, of 17. We left. Oh, yeah, 17 we I graduated. left. We had left in, Ju- in July. Got to the first port end of July. Either way, underage. We were there, yeah. But So the guy had looked at me and he was like, how old are you after you checked my ID? I immediately said 21 because like, I'm not going to give this guy a fucking chance to kick me out. I'm, I just, I'm trying to order a drink. And he's just handed me my ID back and said, okay. And then he checked. I, again, he's like, how old are you? Again, said, 20, uh, 21. And then he was like, yeah, I can't serve you. So then he just, like, left. <laughs> and, like, around the corner, there was another bar. Bartenders were so cool. And then we were just sitting there all drinking. It was, like, nine of us, whatever, talking, whatever. And then we are just kind of like, hey, where's, where's Gan? Somebody should check on him. And then, like, five minutes later, he, I think somebody went and grabbed him. Yeah, and I was, came I was back. there drinking by myself, talking to this guy just that was from, like, hammered. Zimbabwe. This dude was sweet. I walked in. I was like, I'll take a... Uh, Jameson, he said, "Got you, bro." Made it right there. Didn't even ID me. I said, "This yeah. is the kind of stuff and I'm then, talking about." And this was in Dubai, right? International yeah. waters. Yeah, this is. Oh, we yeah. had we had just. Uh, Why'd you say that? Like a CIA left guy? the Dubai Mall. This is international waters. Uh, because <laughs> this is gonna be a TikTok, and I don't want fucking the Karens of TikTok coming at us, being like, "You were underage trying to get into a bar," you know. You're over age on my nuts like a bitch. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> this is why your grandkids don't talk to you. This is I why try. your granddaughter sells fucking toe pigs on OnlyFans for hey, seven bucks. Hey, don't hate the player, hate the game, all right? Anyways, um, so then we all migrate. We paid our bill. We split it, whatever. We all migrated over there. Just from there, it got... <laughs> Crazy. Turned Just up. taking shots. Turned up. Jaeger bombs. They did the thing with the glass where they. Do, 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 do. That was cool to see. That was sweet. Um, I got my Play. ass kicked in pool, but I was fucked. I got fucked Play up. Some pool. We ended up talking to these there too? Swedish Play chicks. Some darts. Play some darts. Yeah, you guys playing darts. Uh, one of the guys we're with, he was like, he turned this into a game with us to see like who could talk to these Swedish chicks the longest. And me and this other dude made up a complete fake backstory of our lives like he, he was like, said he was like a dolphin trainer at sea world and i told like i told him i like teach like what like 10 to 17 year olds out of box some shit like that and talking about how like we t- <laughs> we take like trips we've been fam- like childhood friends i knew this guy for like a year <laughs> like this is like the second time we ever saw each other outside of work and the only like main thing we knew about each other is we were both like from florida Flow rider, and we sat there for like two hours until one of our drunk friends came up. I don't know what he's trying to do. Put his glass on the table, broke it, and was like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna go over here." <laughs> <laughs> I was at that table. I was like, "Bro, what?" Just comes up, like Tommy Smooth came down and <laughs> shattered the glass. <laughs> We've all been there. Your drunk strength, just like you don't understand object, oh. pre- perce- I don't know, perception, depth perception. perception, depth perception. We love it. It was, it was a fun night. And then somebody got their head puked on. 
Nice. Yeah, dude. The way, out the, the window. Back. Wait. Puked on in the... Then, then the, wasn't all they, of the they car, were trying, too? Because <laughs> the person so... who's puking was in the middle, and they were trying to puke out the side of the window, and the person who was on the window seat was passed out. <laughs> <laughs> And he got brutal. puke on his not like all over his head, but he got like some puke on his head. <laughs> There's no rules overseas. Yeah, yeah. It's su- I, like you guys got honestly like such a cool like cheap experience to like see the world. Honestly, right. not even cheap. Opposite, opposite of it having to pay, we got paid. We were getting paid while we did all this. Like, yeah. In some ports, our paycheck hit while we were there. Like we were. We're getting paid to be this stupid. This is a Navy ad now. <laughs> no, don't do it. Dude, the, don't the only, do the, it. The, it's not worth it. The only it. good part is is getting a, a deployment where you can get off the ship at least like once a month. There's some deployments where you like you're out there for like seven, eight months. And you only yeah, like four, dude, we got we, we like did. You're out there for like two months straight. Our, I think our station kind of I like. I didn't like the America itself. I didn't like the how they ran things. But overall, like I feel like port wise though, we got lucky, dude. I think port wise and for our careers, me and you got lucky just because we got to San Diego after the ship was just built, after their sail around. Um we dude, did I all hated the workups and stuff. So we spent a lot of time in port. Like the workups sometimes go to out at sea for like two weeks, maybe so we, three weeks sometimes it'd just be like three days whatever got a lot of time in port that we had our deployment all that time in port after deployment and then some work up stuff and then we didn't have to go to japan and we got out did you guys not want to go to japan no why not with the ship because they weren't not going to with your ship. uh not, I, I don't want to say a not nice part it was just yeah where they were going, that port, like that area, boring. There's like well, not much. Yeah, it's, it's very it's much like a Trey end up going. Yeah, yeah, Trey was there. It's like a yeah. Midwest, he liked it. almost like the Midwest. Like he what said, he, there, if you want to think about he it, he told me that they were just extremely racist. Is what he said. Also that. Yeah. Also that. But for the most part, there was there was like some like places to go drink and stuff, places to go shop. But that was it. It wasn't like. You, you would have to take a train somewhere else in Japan to actually go see stuff and do stuff. Yeah, go to, go to Yakuska or Tokyo. Trey was saying yeah. it was like a like a it would take a day to tr- like take a train to go to Tokyo or anything, and then take it would take a day to take a train back. Mm-hmm. I mean, low key though, I would have that would have been kind of cool taking a day train into in, in like Japan. That's something I'd want to get do. some tea. Yeah, I've That'd wanted to take because they have the ones. In California, you can go all the way up the coast from, like, L.A. to, like, Washington. Mm-hmm. It's, like, two days. Oh, I took one from San Diego to L.A. That was sweet. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, that, yeah, that's, like, a two. I'm talking about, like, this is, like, a, a two-day, like, on the train, just, like, seeing the entire coast. That, yeah. Going up Honestly. Cali. I like train rides. Up to Washington. Stress-free. Yeah. Speaking of trains, we need a high-speed railway To run system. a train on someone? I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. Why would I ever? I'm married. I don't know. You said speaking of trains. You're not even married yet. I'm going to be. Might as well this be guy at this point. gets engaged and now thinks he's married. <laughs> I'm happy for I mean, you. I appreciate it again. Thank Good you. Good on you. There's no you. chance I could, I could steal you from Shiloh. So. This degenerate. Let's don't not listen. say married. Listen. Yeah, this... <laughs> Come and, July next year, you're gonna be like Shiloh. I think I've, I think I want to leave you for Adrian. And then I'll it, be like, Nah, you're not for me, Chase. No, that is you are probably honestly, fate of the world. The Martians have the death beam facing Earth. If I ever had to ever do anything with you, even go on a date with you. I you're would rather you're all of that happen. You know, I would whine and dine you. No, I'm getting freaking so he evaporated. Hesitated before saying no. I'm getting <laughs> evaporated. I'm getting Fuck the you Earth <laughs> smoke. You Just for that, ditto. I don't want to cool. take you guys to fucking cool Chili's, Pokemon. anyways. No, I want to take you guys to Olive Garden. Give them but all of your garden. It kind of goes into it. I, I was uh, no, not that, but 
Speaking of like Japan and like the wedding stuff, me and Shiloh have been looking at like honeymoon destinations, and Japan, dude, what the fuck? Expensive. So goddamn expensive to Just get go to a Thailand. Plane. No, I want to go to Japan. I don't have like any like, I don't have any like desire to go to Thailand. What Thailand is very very beautiful. I lot, know. I'm is, sure. I'm sure it's great. Have great nah, food. Dude. Like they have great food markets and stuff nah, around there. Get that. Uh, go to Ireland. I, I, want, I would love to go to Thailand. I would, I would like to go to Ireland. I would like to go – I want to go to Japan because uh, it just – it's also is super pretty. Uh, the nightlife, uh, just the culture there is, you know. Anime. Anime. I want a honeymoon in Amsterdam. Hamster went? Or like Sweden. Yeah. Greenland just, is – Greenland and like – and Amsterdam are like my two – no, Iceland. I, mean, Iceland. Just, I was, was going to say – they're, so they're fake named yeah, the, yeah it j- just switch the names it and it would make guard. sense but yeah iceland and like um amsterdam are my two like i really want to and thailand those three are like i really want to go we were um, looking at a place uh in california by the way this is such the, the the biggest scam is like honeymoon destinations they fucking mark it up like a billion dollars but we saw this place in california it was like Where? uh it was in between San Francisco, or it was like right below San Jose. It was like in the mountains. It was like in the woods. Oh yeah, near the redwoods. Yeah, it was in the redwoods, uh, but it was like this super luxurious suite, uh, and we were we were gonna get the cheapest suite option available, and we we did like a for we did it for a week, and we wanted to oh okay going back to it we were looking at the cheapest room. Uh, and we booked it out for a week, the weeks we selected, and we were going to pay for it. We were about to pay for it. It was going to be like... Like 3000 right? It was going to be around like 3000 We thought Jeez. it was going to be like 3000 for the week, but we were going to pay it. We were honestly, we were like, oh my God, this is like the cheapest thing we've seen so far. Mm-hmm. And we went to go try and buy it. It was 3000 for the day. So it was going to be like 20000 for the week. And we were That's, just like, don't look up honeymoon. I was talking to Adrian. Yeah, don't look yeah. up like honeymoon don't, vacation. Make your own. Like just no, go I somewhere mean, where you think it's cool. Well, yeah. I, I mean, that's that's the plan. But it's still like you. That's the whole thing. You gotta find. You gotta buy the plane tickets. Our budget really is only like three thousand. We gotta buy the tickets. That's you insane. gotta find like, and yeah, I mean, plane tickets right now are just crazy, especially if you're going overseas. Uh, you gotta. Find a place to stay, and you gotta hope it's like everything that we want. We were wanting like an all-inclusive thing, but the only thing I can find in that range is fucking sandals, Jamaica. Ew. Yeah. No, I mean, I wouldn't be bad. I would, I would say just take. Like, I want to go to the beach. Take a cruise. I think the beach is so played out. Take like a Mexico cruise. See if you could take a cruise to like to. Well, no, we don't want. We don't like cruises. We. Dude, I would love to take a cruise again. I hated working on a boat, but being on a boat where you, all you have to do is just leisure. Oh, the thing is, we we kind of want to be isolated you too. You know, we kind of want to be by ourselves. We don't want to be around other people too. And Tennessee. on a cruise, you're stuck with people. Go to Tennessee. Yeah, we were thinking like, like getting a cabin in Wyoming. We were thinking of going to Canada, where I proposed. Like her parents' cabin. Oh, does she have a cat? Yeah, I do that. Yeah, why not do that? Well, it's I just mean, like you already we, used that for the proposal. We, though. yeah, and it's it's going to be in our lives forever, you know. So it's like, uh, do we want to like do our honeymoon there? But we were thinking maybe like since we we do like a a separate honeymoon down the line in the future. Like, maybe we do save up enough money, go to Japan, we do, like, a romantic getaway, or we go to Ireland or wherever. I say you guys do not go to the cabin during your honeymoon, because I know you won't be there during your honeymoon, so I'm going to throw a sex party there. So, I'm going to tell the border control just patrol to just not let you in. I'm gonna be like this man is a menace to fucking society. Do not let him in. I'm surprised he's even allowed to stay in America. Adrian pulls up like a type of power. 
<laughs> and he just pulls up in like a costume with a moving truck there with the back. There's like sixty freaks back there with costumes on. <laughs> We're trying to get like, to Canada. <laughs> oh weather. Dude. What no, are you guys I'm, doing in I'm gonna Canada? put you on a Sex terrorist party. watch list. Whoa. That's a lot of leather, eh? That's a lot of leather. <laughs> Yeah, you're already in yeah. costume. <laughs> you you like unzip the zipper to talk. You're, hey, you're, officer. <laughs> hey, officer. With, with, with your ID, you pull out like one of the random pockets. <laughs> Here, here's my veteran's uh, healthcare ID card because you know I'm a veteran and leather. Hi. Sorry. It's just gonna be nuts and butts all over the place. Yeah. Uh, it's not happening, and you are definitely going to be on some tor- some type of watch list after this. Honestly, I've said enough shit, seriously and non-seriously, that I'm pretty sure I am being watched. No, yeah. The digital footprint, man, goes crazy. Hey. Hey. My name ain't going to make it that far. Sasquatch style. Footprint. Big. Hit it. They they thought they saw Bigfoot in Colorado. I saw that. That was just yeah. me, butt naked, walking around. Unbelievable. No, you're not you're not that big, Adrian. <laughs> Come on, let's. Be I honest. am hairy. But yeah, you you do not. They saw one look at my ass and said, "That's Bigfoot." You you're so small, you don't even compare to Bigfoot's like foot. It took you it took you a while to come up with that, didn't you? I would have been a Hobbit joke. Hey, go ahead, Ken. No, oh, no. See, yours. the opportunity for jokes is gone now. The window is it's it's closed. You have a small window. You've been found around the Eye of Mordor. <laughs> Not Colorado, nerd. Yeah. Do you guys feel like getting a little deep, or you guys want to just keep being silly? We can get deep. We can get. Silly. What's the context of this deepness? Deep in you? Absolutely. I see we're on the silly. I see we're on silly, goofy. I'm always on silly, goofy time. What's seriousness? All right. So the question is, uh, it's balance. It's the first topic on on the list right here, and it kind of goes into like uh, our like nerdiness. I saw the one of the writers or creators of the Star Wars games. He was talking about how. In Star Wars, everything deals with balance. Everything has a balance to it. The Force is essentially just balance. Oh, yeah. I saw a whole Freddie yeah. Prince Jr. rant about this. Yes. I, I think that's who I'm talking about. Uh, I, the guy I from Scooby-Doo. Yeah. He, uh, he got this directly from George Lucas. He was like, the Force just always corrects itself. So it's like, you know, he was talking about how Pal- Palpatine was... You know the dark side of the forest, and uh, Anakin was supposed to be light, the right side of the forest. But then I think he I got can pull up a video talking about this. Yeah, I guess you can TikTok. if you want. Or we That's can discuss it. Yeah. Or, yeah, or we can just yeah, we'll just discuss, discuss it. it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for yeah. throwing me off my train of thought, Adrian. I yeah, just train. I like, I like hearing Freddie Prince Jr. rant about it. Uh, well, it maybe we we'll drop a Say link in the bio. Maybe you can, Adrian. But anyways, just long story short, he's essentially like, you know, uh, Palpatine had such a great understanding of how the Force works. He knows if he's going to be like the super dark bad guy, the Force is going to correct it. And he saw the the greatest potential in somebody being able to stop him in Anakin. So instead of killing Anakin and the Force just correcting that, he decided to seduce Anakin and bring him onto his side and mm. becoming Darth Vader. So mm. then now there's two bad guys, two main bad guys. Now the Force is now one-sided. Seduced him. And mm. so what What did the Force do to compromise for the two, you know, bad side? They gave us twins. Luke and Leia. Yes. Luke and Leia. So Han I was Solo thinking... Solo and Chewbacca. also true <laughs> also true but i was thinking i was like because i'm a i'm a big believer in karma you know i'm a big believer in like you do good you receive good but sometimes you don't always get that immediately sometimes it is just more of like a balance you know 
what do you guys think of that? Do you think the world is kind of just... I think of that almost like yin and yang. Like, maybe not yin and yang is, like, uh, uh, good and evil. I think of it more of, like, the balance of it. You get positive energy and negative energy, and it just always is trying to balance it. I don't think there is balance because one thing, Henry Kissinger was a terrible human being, faced almost no repercussions, and died of natural causes at 100 years old. No balance. He was just the cause of so much bad shit, and where's his karma? Dying naturally? Fuck I, you. Uh, the way I look at it is, yeah, I mean, he was a gross piece of shit. He should have died well before he <laughs> he could give we could give him credit for being such a terrible person he was older but than betty white he was by a day or a couple i don't know actually by a year at least <laughs> not crazy. by a day for sure yeah it wasn't a day <laughs> it was a it was a year uh betty white died before her 100th birthday <laughs> yeah. a day before her 100th birthday uh which is so sad but the way I look at it is like Henry Kissinger, and I was also thinking like, okay, like capitalism in general, like all these political elites, they all rule everything. They all, it's just a handful of people kind of controlling everything. Never, never, never. Yeah, warning, by the way. Uh, but you got to think it's a handful of people against hundreds of millions of people, billions of people in the world, you know? That's the way of my thinking. Once we all decide collectively that we can do better i think that's the balance the shift that's going to create right i don't think there's going to be balance just because even in casual conversations there's not even a balance of power there yeah i mean that's a whole and conversations whole, yeah and it's a whole intercultural communication concept of social positions and conversations even the most casual conversations, there is a social positioning structure of the mm -hmm. type of power and um, context you hold in conversation, whether it's just within communication as a whole or within a culture. Like, mm -hmm. for example, there's cultures out there where simply being a woman, you have less power in a conversation than a man. Even technically in a conversation with us three, being white men in america you guys have more power in just a casual conversation than i do even sitting here it's just three equals on a podcast there's that whole social position of you know yeah power dynamics and stuff it's a whole I, thing i get it but even but in a i mean conversation yeah no balance. especially with puerto ricans like balance than anything else yeah seriously <laughs> I just kidding. <laughs> had to slip it in. Had to slip it in. But no, I I get it. But it's also like yeah, I and those your one window, chase. What? It's a slip in something about me being five seven. You missed your window. Well, oh, I mean, I, at Rick, least you, you acknowledged it. I no, no, I mean, you could slipped it in, but you didn't. The joke it in count. itself it is count. that it you count when I say acknowledged it. Myself. You're five it. eight. We should five, hire nine. the bar. I'm five nine. You seem pretty angry to be five eight. No, I went to the doctors and it is now oh. a documented information. Now you got to bring, bring up your medical records. Oh yeah, it's, no, it's got a lot. When of you, when you're gifted an inch, you take yes, the I, inch. Yes, I, yes, I. <laughs> when you're gifted an inch, you take the inch. Tiny. Oh, I only have an inch. Anyways, uh, <laughs> going back to the conversation, I think yeah, in those one-off situations, those one-off conversations. There are there are going to be power dynamics, but then you, I mean, you over time you course correct, you get the balance back, you know. Like, we, you... I mean, we've seen women, you know, be oppressed for centuries, but now we're finally able to open the door and like they're starting to gain rights and get more hold and yeah. But even the still world, even then, it the thing is, a lot of it is mindset, and there's different mindsets that reduce balance that is very hard to eliminate concepts of misogyny racism yeah. you know capitalism being part of the one percent all of these you know all of these things in this little pot whatever it, it reduces balance because you've got people 
essentially just taking balance away, reducing one side because they believe their side. I think holds. the way I'm looking at it is, uh, yeah, I mean, all these things, they're, they're trying to make it to where balance is impossible, but they're, at some point, they're going to push us so far to the edge that we're all going to have to come together and push them back. And then we, I, I'm just saying it's going to take time. It takes time for everything. <coughs> Nothing like this happens just instantly. It'll take hundreds. I think hundreds of years. And but yeah, but I mean as eventually balance will <laughs> happen. Yeah, but see you're trying to think of it in the in the in the terms of like you're like kind of how you use Star Wars as an example. There is nothing at least I believe there is nothing cosmic that is going to pull any magical balance out of nowhere like Oh, uh, well yeah, I'm not I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that in order it, to create the balance you have to take some power and the way things are set up if you're not in power you cannot grab power it's as simple as that if you're not in some position of power you can't grab power and that's for now most of the world but for now i mean capitalism only existed for a couple hundred years you know before that what was well i mean there was probably a lot more equal everything you know sure there were power yeah, dynamics there the were kingdoms makes the world run for now at this point you can't rid of you can't get rid of capitalism or you have to have an entire reset on society and civilization adrian Adrian, entirely you have to get seven eight billion people hundreds of different nations all to basically be like yeah fuck money let's reset yeah that's that's the case for now for you can't even get a building of people to agree on a two answer question because they'll come up with like seven, eight different answers. You expect hundreds of nations to get on the same page about getting rid of capitalism when that's what gives the ones in power to make this decision. Yeah. For now. <laughs> that's it's what like, I'm saying. It's like Sisyphus to me. The more you the more well, yeah, you, it is you, a sissy you push up <laughs> the more you push that boulder up, the closer you get to it coming back down, you gotta do all that work. You're never going to accomplish anything. It's just the way the world works. For now. <laughs> For now, Adrian. What do you not get? Yes, this is the case, but I mean, things change over time. And that's what I'm th- That's what I'm thinking. I don't think there's going to be a cosmic divine intervention. Do I think remember, there's going to be... Can you name any good kingdom in all of history? Kingdom Hearts. I stand corrected. It's a, it's a good one. <laughs> Um, I mean, in history, it, I can't really. They're think all built of it. off of like slavery. I know that a as being a white male American, I shouldn't be yeah discussing those things. It's but human nature. It's just like every power structure was built off of thousands upon millions upon now billions of people. I think throughout uh, the, all of history, like I, that, I see where Adrian's coming from. I wish it's wishful thinking, but. I think they set up so many power dynamics nowadays that they, they just it, want you yeah. trapped. At its core, you have to change human nature. You have to completely eliminate greed and hunger for power to create that balance. And that's never going to happen. Because and, even trying to create that balance, you are, you are actively hungry for power. You are actively greedy for power. I get it, but I mean, I think it. I think it is. Uh, I, you know, I'm a glass half full kind of guy. I'm optimistic. I think I'm a dumping glass with, kind of guy. Get that corner on my face. I'm a water bottle kind of. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm uh, a sippy cup kind of guy. I'm a sippy cup. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm a Give drink it from the straw. Drink it from the teat kind of guy. If you know what I mean. Straight from the teat. Straight from the team. Never a bad thing. No. Uh, anyways, going back to it. <laughs> Wait. I, uh, I, I'm optimistic. I think with the current trajectory of like how things are going, I think personally we're going to just eventually say enough is enough and we're going to get the balance back. And yes, I, th- I but I think 
most of those like regime changes, most of those people that want to see different like coups or, you know, when people are taking down empires, they usually want to bring in their own empire. The, the way I look at it is like, if we're collectively all on the same page, we all kind of come up, come uh, like come up with the groundworks to create a system that works for everybody and doesn't put a single individual at the top or a group of people at the top i i tr i truthfully think it it could bring balance back to the world i, I don't know because i feel like if they even feel any warmth of that happening they like to then put something yeah. so that we all fight each other it'll be like well that you get to a certain point, it gets to a certain point, people are like, okay, mm -hmm. we're starting to get something. Then they're like, boom, throw something at us. Put a headline yeah, I, out there. That's why I think media is just not it. Yeah, well, that's yeah. why uh, I think the media should – I think that's why TikTok is so powerful right now because we're, we're seeing a difference in what we're seeing in traditional media like CNN, Fox. We're seeing something completely different than what they're, uh, they've been feeding us for years, you know? And I, I think it's, it's just coming from the public discourse. That's why it's so powerful, and that's why they were trying to ban it last year or this year. Was it this year or last year? They're always year. trying to ban it. I personally, you're right about that with TikTok. I think TikTok should be banned. I think TikTok should just go away. Why? TikTok has made so many people just so fucking mindlessly fucking stupid. It is just – it's infuriating – how much I, people are devolving. People are legit going into TikTok lives and paying money for someone to just be like, hey, yo, bitch, why the fuck you send me fucking gifts? I said, you people don't send me gifts. Like, I, I, think it's, I think it's just like, there are stupid people in the world and those people are gonna find different avenues to be stupid. You know? Those are the ones that become so the most famous. Or the yeah. Well, I think I think it. Has, I mean, I think we just need to address like. So, uh, there's a lot of things that we need to address in society that uh, arguably could put us on a better course. But I mean, like you guys were saying, it's human nature. First thing we need to address: water socks. Why does that exist? Water socks? What are you talking about? Or aqua socks? Whatever. Those, you're, like, you're gonna have shoes to elaborate. Those shoes that look like a foot, like they look like the shoe is in the shape of a foot. Oh, you you know what I'm talking about? Like like the like like they the, look like the toe shoes. <laughs> the, toe yeah, shoes. the toe shoes. <laughs> Should have started with that. Should have yeah. started with toe shoes. Yeah, we got the we toe, shoes. toe he, shoes. He said aqua socks, toe shoes. Chase the toe shoes. Yeah, why didn't you just say that's that? The first, that's the first issue we got to address. Why do those exist? And why do they exist enough that they can keep existing? Who's buying so, these? Who's wearing these? Adrian, I don't know if you know this. I live in the uh, great state or great country of America where freedom prevails. Uh, if people want to wear ugly ass shoes, people should be able to wear ugly ass shoes. I don't see anywhere in the Constitution that says you are free to dress like a fucking idiot. I think right? it's I think <laughs> I it's think in the do, Bill that of needs Rights. To be corrected. It's the pursuit of happiness, right? Toe shoes is a How about the bill of learn how to fucking dress? Even in, even Adrian, in the context of like Adrian, surfing or water Have sports, you what, looked what at the that? camera? <laughs> have you looked at the camera? What do you mean looked at the camera? You're, you're telling people you they don't know how to dress and you're looking like I'm wearing that. all you can see is my pink shirt and my beanie inside Dude, of my house. Dude, he wore that is a lot different a rib than tank top, toe shoes. You best yeah, back he, up. You're the one First who off. came <laughs> First off, That's we're ripped, not gonna dog, attack geez. that. Like very, like people with fashion weren't Whoa. saying the same thing I was saying. You can look up Target rib tank top. Oh, but now, on now, TikTok. now it's Watch. somehow, now it's somehow acceptable for you. What do you mean to somehow? Def well, mean we're somehow? disagreeing with you, but we're, we still understand you have the what right you to I say it. that is fire. Not it. Do Adrian, think. think about it. I, I, I like I like trench coats, so I mean I can't say much because now it's yeah. like just, there's a stigma. What are you a fucking like, night? You, you're either butt naked under there, or you're selling me watches. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I used to like. I've always thought it was such a, such a clean look, but now there's so many negative connotations with a trench coat yeah. that it's insane. Yeah, because you open up a trench coat, you got two things: odd trinkets Three. or no clothes, <laughs> or, or a or, firearm. Or, yes, <laughs> yeah. We're, we're not going to talk about that. You either got your dick out or fucking. But they just look like, look so cool. Like look at Star Lord in the first episode, clean. Fuck Star Lord. Frick you. Fricker. Oh, Star Lord's a <laughs> dick him. in the comics. He's, no, he's not. He's asshole. tough. He's so cool. Tough. First off, the Guardians of the Galaxy were all literally brainwashed by Star Lord to join him, at least in one of the universes. I don't know if it was one of the main continuities that are old. Gamora loved him. Gamora loved him. That's just that's just TV. In the no, comics, real. he fell in love with his ship. In the comics, he fucked Makes his sense. ship. Maybe you want he fucked maybe, his ship. <laughs> you know, some people like Mustangs. See, have you guys Adrian, ever seen those? No, the, those like videos. Is that real? That's not real. Look it up, Jamie. There was, look it up. Um, there's a dude I on. I don't remember if it was My Strange Addiction or something, that he was, like, legit in love with his car. Like, Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, he but would have sex with his about, car, yeah. I want to yeah. see this proof of Star-Lord in a child's comic, relatively, doing this sort of shit. Because Guardians is usually... Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, I feel like, is usually... And they're, like, some of the most OP characters... If you're going comically, Drax should be able to fight Thanos by himself. Same. Honestly. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, An article from CBR where it goes over all of the love interests of Star-Lord. All right. Here we go. The movies and the comics. Top one. Ship. Literally his fucking ship. He is fucking this ship. Who's shorty next to the ship? <laughs> Who's sh- I need I need context, dog. Oh. I don't know. Just read it. Up. Just read it. Because well, um, it Master Chief has Cortana, so we don't say anything about that. Well, he wants to fuck Cortana. He loves Cortana. Did you miss the whole fourth episode? Here, here's what it says. That's what I'm, I'm pull, saying, pull though, up. Chase. In relevance, no one's gonna say anything about Master Chief. But, oh, Star-Lord does it, then it's dumb. Here it yeah, says, the original that? version of Peter Quill became the Star-Lord when a powerful being known as the Master of the Sun chose him to protect the universe. He outfitted Quill in his space helmet and armor and gave him a sentient craft named Ship to help him. Wait! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so... Hey, people. Hey, I mean, I think the original uh, point of this conversation was people like to fuck uh, things that most of us wouldn't want to fuck. And going back to my point. Like me. Yeah, nobody should touch you with a (laughs) 10-foot pole, 10-foot stick. I can't wait till you hug me. With a boner. At your wedding. (laughs) Fully torqued. We're gonna. We're just gonna slightly I, no, touch chips. No, I'm and going it's gonna be to magical <laughs> lightning. <sighs> Why well, invite you? Lightning for the tips of her penis. <laughs> it's the shock that like was heard around the world. It's gonna be like static electricity. You're gonna be like, oh, my dick. <laughs> just the tip. Uh, Felt like lightning. All right. Where's the end call button? <laughs> You can find us on all streaming platforms. Um. (laughs) Let's talk about these gang signs on Riverside. What the fuck do you mean by that, Chase? Well, you were saying you had the theory of, like, the reason why... Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. The reason why the balloons popped up for Ganon was because he was doing some weird finger signs. Yeah. All right, so, editor, put put the clip as I speak about this. So, if you guys don't remember... There was an episode. I'm not doing shit. <laughs> That'll take like a minute, dude. Our recent shorts have been getting some more views, more views than previous shorts that we've had that have. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> this, bro, this guy's a magician. <laughs> there is an episode where it was we're doing like 
the outro stuff. And Gan was, he was like, he had his like thumbs up like this. He did something. And a bunch of balloons like showed up behind him on camera. So recently, before Thanksgiving, my girlfriend was in Colorado visiting her sister. So we we're on FaceTime talking. And she was doing like a like a thumbs up or something like this, like 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 that. Same thing happened. And this was FaceTime, so it was a whole completely different application. So I have a theory that like Gan did some finger sign. I don't know. Yeah, or, like, don't to understand I just why. did everything. He did, like something. Like he he was doing like something like. I, I was just I did every uh, combination book and but nothing happened. So then again, me and Chase, we look stupid right now because the common denominator is it happened on a phone. We're not on phones. Gan's on a phone. No, I'm not. So Gan would have to. I no, I'm not. You can keep trying this through, during the whole episode. I'm, a, every I'm actually. I'm speaking through you, to you, from a multi-dimensional portal. Hmm. How about you, multi-dimensionally? With my notes. Yeah, you suck at these no, thank you. type of jokes. No, thank you. <clears throat> so, like, what yeah. dimension all are you in right now? The sixth the one... dimension. How many? We've gone. The on one where We've... I can. The one where I summon cats. Did you make me look stupid? <laughs> 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 There's his tail. Watch, I could summon I could summon a cat too. Watch, watch. Let me I gotta get off screen for this. Ready? 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 Watch. Oh look, it's me, a pussy. <laughs> you made the joke. I don't know I've never seen somebody oh. who like self loves more than Adrian. Whoa, what's this? Whoa. Oh, oh, for the audio listeners, Gans pussies on the screen. <laughs> Put your pussy lips on live. <laughs> Put your pussy lips on live. I'll give you a thousand dollars right now. <laughs> so you're in the pussy dimension. Yeah, I'm the king of it. I saw a thing recent. I saw a video on TikTok where this guy was saying that like, I don't want to say it rubbed me the wrong way, but I, it was just a weird, very weird Whoa. analysis. I rubbed you the wrong way. Say, yeah. Like saying that people who don't like cats are the same exact people who are Andrew Tate fans. Yeah. I it's uh, I saw the I have to disagree. What? Wildly. Okay. Elaborate. That's like saying people who don't like baseball also love to eat shit. There's just zero cor- correlation. No, I can okay. see it. This- this is what you're not understanding. So the thing about dog, the, okay, let's talk about dog ownership. Dogs are they are down for whatever. You can pet them whenever you can. They will follow you around. They're super obedient, and they listen to you to a t to a, to an extent. The difference between cat ownership is that cats are usually a lot more reserved. They won't just let you pet them whenever. They like their space. So it's more of like you have to like uh, understand consent with a pet, essentially. See, now you're equating. No, I see. I'm looking like, at more of like <laughs> you're notice, equating such a, a do- dog owner. Like, yes, notice you're not wrong me, about senpai. Cats and, notice me. Like you're not wrong about cats and dogs, but you're equating let, let that Gannon dynamic talk. to let Gannon like, talk, Adrian. You're a shitty person. Like I'm not saying it's just that. A weird, it just. It it does, but that's what the video is saying, and that's I just don't believe that's a correlation. That's I'm, such I'm a, a wildly. That, that's a super. That's a fucking aloof. I'm an all. I'm an gum all gum animal, fucking stretch across the world reach like. I'm an all animal lover, and except for domesticated birds. Why are we doing yeah. that? Okay. I don't but, hate cats. Like I don't see a cat. In Adrian. Life. I just wouldn't own a cat. You seem like you're awfully defensive of this You're topic. awfully defensive. Because as, just, a do- as a knowing weird to be dog like, owner, too, you're not helping the case. Yeah. It's just it's just a, one of those weird correlate. Like, it's just a weird thing to correlate. That doesn't no, make sense. I, I think it makes sense. It's not to the extent that she or he or she was talking about. Uh, I don't I don't equivalent people who. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't equivalent people who only like dogs and don't like cats to Andrew Tate. I th- but I think it. Uh, I think there's like, 
for people who are like, yeah, I hate cats. It's mo. I mean, you could probably understand that they are the type of person that want a pet that they can just pet whenever. A pet that's super obedient. A pet that a pet that like, doesn't shit in a box. Adrian, you technically shit in a box. Um, no, I shit in a toilet that's made to get rid of In a box. I have a better analogy. I have a better yeah, analogy. Yeah, and that's going than pets. straight away. That's not sitting a in a box enough. waiting for me to go take it out. Whereas little the dog, guys, they go outside. Little guys in big trucks. I got almost tell you, 85% of them like Andrew Tate. Little guy, big truck. Those are always funny to see. Little guys in big truck. We talk about it all the time. And I have like a little S10. And then my buddy at work was like, big guy, little truck. <laughs> my my ex fiance's dad has like has like a big truck. You gotta like you kinda like kinda like, you know, reach Look, up this... to grab to get up. He's like five five, five four, something like that. Short little Italian dude. I need I need that Ford F three fifty. Sir, you weigh a hundred pounds soaking what? Yeah. Oh well no, he was, he was... Oh. But yeah, I think the small I, small I, penis. He's I would almost Probably. I would almost correlate eighty five percent of people that are small but drive big trucks listen oh. to Andrew Tate. Probably. I because I feel like guys like that, a lot of them is a whole degree of compensation at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you know, grant yes, misogyny, we see that. We see all these points. But I think it's just an exterior to insecurity and compensation and that's why they drive big trucks mm-hmm. Come here, Charlie. yeah exactly i i mean i i don't really get i'm not i was actually just messing with you the entire time i do not i don't fully understand the dog thing <laughs> yeah i it, don't it's weird. i think animals are should be loved however they want to be loved yeah i think it's more of like a generalization it's an extreme yeah. generalization but i think so there are extreme. some some cat or compatibil- compatibility cat compatibility compat <laughs> cat compatibility okay uh i think you can uh I, I like i said it's not like an extreme it's not a concrete 100 percent accurate because i like dogs and cats yeah. uh but i think it's like the ty- it's like you kind of have to act a, act a different way with a cat and a dog and mm-hmm. If you're if you are a guy and you are more of a cat person, you understand like like the cat under like you understand the cat likes boundaries. You have to kind of get consent to pet it. Not you me. I'm gonna to... pet Harley if I want to. Come well, here. I mean, I you can. <laughs> the thing is, like, to translate that to human behavior, it's like I don't need to be a cat owner to fucking know that shit. It's I just it's just kind of like signs, shitty. you know. I mean, it's like. You know, uh, not everybody who doesn't have a dad is a serial killer, but a lot of times, the people, the serial killers that don't have dads, they're ser- serial killers. You know, it's it's kind of like a, that. I think just that whole because we're still talking about the TikTok video, but that TikTok video, I think it ignores the whole opposite side of like dog owners because of the nature of dogs are more affectionate, and compassionate outwardly show that love on a constant basis and yeah that's that's your understanding of it and that's i mean that's why i think that's why people like dogs too because it's that constant partner around that you know is compassionate like i don't treat my dog like like i'm i'm your owner you gotta listen to me like i'd like i just walk up and cuddle that dog the dog walks yeah. up and cuddles me just, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that we just show each other love all the time. Yeah. See, we're, I wipe we're... her butt when she poops. Oh, you have to wipe a dog's butt? We don't have to, but, like, we do it because one time she sat on And the you got blanket. mad about a cat shitting in a box. You have to wipe yeah, your own that's dog's constant, butt? Yeah, that's constant having to wipe, like... Hey, guess what? I have to take my dog outside and, and let it go and to the bathroom. That box is sitting in your house... Cat litter smells weird on its own, so that weird smell covering actually, up the smell of shit is just Actually, they have pellets now, and it don't stink at all. See? 
That's too much. I just go grab changeable a films. Bag, pick it up, throw it in the trash. Hey, you you think it? You have to first of all get your dog on a leash, walk outside, walk it around for a couple okay, minutes. Wait, that's got to go to the bathroom. We, we're not argue, Let's not argue over this. It, but let's get one the thing walk straight. Is not just about let's using get, the bathroom. It's all about health. It also grinds her nails down. Um, but, keeps her from getting also, overweight. What about this? Um, domesticated birds freak me Weird. out. Weird. Yeah. There's birds that, that can out. talk. Keep it in its cage. Why do that? Why do parakeets talk? How have we not under like? Okay. Domesticated birds, yes. Crows, though, I would probably own a crow if I could. Yeah. Who are you, yeah, Ag- Edgar Allan Poe? The fuck? Oh. Ken, what are you doing over there? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Are you going to leave? Day in a life of... What? Like your friends just watching you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She, she wasn't in the shot last week, but now she was, because I saw it. Hey, buddy, we're recording a podcast to you. Stuff. No, hold Sorry. on. I got to finish this thought. Domesticated birds, no, but a crow? Maybe I would have crow, a crow, yes. If I could. Crow, yes. Okay. Actually, there's a lot about a raven? Raven, crow. Crows steal shit. They're intelligent. They're highly intelligent. They're very intelligent. So you can you're, train. You're a crow. They know what you we don't want. even have to own a crow to build a, rela- a bartering relationship with a crow. They know what you want. They, they'll get, they'll if you take leave... like, money, they'll take jewelry. Amazing. I want. You know, it's also ironically illegal to own a crow. To domesticate a crow? It's illegal to domesticate a crow. I thought this was America. America. Yeah, I thought this was America. I can't own a fucking... Was it, it's was illegal. Was it Allan Poe alive in America? You know what I was doing one day after I got out of the barbershop? I saw a bunch of crows, and I was like trying to throw money up to them. Help me. Be my friend. Ah. I, want a, I want one either way. If I had four of those, I'm taking over a city. I want to own a little deer. Listen, all you got to do is just find crows and just – you don't even have to give them, like, money. You can just give them, like, food and stuff. Like, they're not going to specifically just re- start going to get money from you. But, like, when they start – when money starts being brought, like, if they, like, find, like, a dollar bill and bring it, you want to, like, increase the reward or something because they'll pick up on that because they're fucking intelligent. Yeah, so all of, to all of our crow owners, here's some tips and tricks. Our croners. To- I got a boner for a crow. <laughs> let's close her out. Let's close her out. Yeah, let's close her out. Oh damn! Not you. Yeah. Like the the podcast. The episode. Wait on you. Wait on you. Well, I can do it. I mean, you I can find just... us on all the streaming platforms. I'm talking Apple Podcast. I'm talking Spotify, and I'm talking guess what? YouTube for them visual effects. We also have our Patreon. It's charity. On there, you can find everything. You can find everywhere else. You can find us anywhere. We also have our TikTok and Discord. And our Reddit. How much is the Patreon? Read it, Reddit. Read Reddit. It. And our Patreon is only $3 a month also. That's $3 a month, brother. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. That actually sounds really, it sounds legit when he says it out of the mic. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I've, I've um, done it a lot. I've practiced it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, dude. So do it. Do it. Do it. You can find do everything. It. Do it. Nike. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on actually, Instagram. Follow us every on time you guys give us $3 on our Patreon, it goes directly to our honeymoon funds. So if you love us, give us a fun honeymoon. Honey, what? Oh, you said honeymoon at first, and I was like, Yeah, Whoa. you said honeymoon. Honey, honeymoon. I said honeymoon fun. You said honeymoon honey, fun. No, you said honeybun fun. It's no, like I said we're, honeymoon. Fun. It's like we're morbid, <laughs> morbidly obese. <laughs> we're just eating honey buns, like as. A, <laughs> Did I give say us honey money? Bun? You said give honey us bun. money for honey, honey bun. Honeymoon. My brain moved faster than my mouth. Our honeymoon fun. Sounds like a common If you love us, give us a fun honeymoon. 
Give us a fun honey buns. Yeah, <laughs> give, me some, honey give buns. us some fucking honey buns too. Fuck. A portion of it will go ones. to honey buns now. Actually, before we close it out, iced or glazed? What's the difference? I'm going iced. Iced. I, it, the icing, it's a, like a white icing on top instead of like glazed all around. But it's like I, a thick icing and it's Yeah, good. I guess ice too because the glaze, it's like everywhere and it gets on your fingers. Mm. And... Well, you just got to eat it holding the wrapper, but that's the classic. Mm. Anyways, guys, do you have anything else you want to add? <laughs> I'm lazy. Somebody, there's, I had, somebody's, nobody was making a joke. I had to make a joke. I was waiting for somebody. I'm not. Um, this is no laughing matter. Are we? Just are gonna, we? You're just gonna, for the audio listeners, Gan is just putting his whole face in the camera. He's looking into your soul directly. If you guys uh, wanted a little, a little uh, nighttime Gan and stare, there you go. If you want Gan's gaze to fall upon you. Gannon's gaze. New book club coming out next week. Sick. <laughs> hey, that'd be dope. That uh, would I do be have... dope. I don't read, though. <laughs> I do have one thing God. to put out there Jesus that people Christ. need to hear. It's going to be quick, you fucking ass. If you get on are me. in any type of fantasy football league and you stand... In a position at the top, always remember to humble yourself because you may speak down and then get embarrassed by the end of the Sunday. It's a very important tip, especially really if you were my tip. older brother. You bitch. I beat you. That was it. That's all I had to say. <laughs> You're pretty familiar with that, huh, Adrian? With what? Huh? Oh, I because I kicked the shit out of you in fantasy. Me? You're like at the bottom of the league. No, I'm, I'm not. Tied first. Oh, I'm coming up. I'm, oh, not, I'm about not to be Chase, tied for second. Not, not Chase uh, talking about beating me. I was not absent the entire. I was absent the entire season. I wasn't talking yeah. about you. I was talking about Adrian. Oh. Well, yeah. This week. This week. I was week, like, I did, dude, I was I even there. Too. That's why I didn't say anything. I just said I got my dub. That's it humble myself well, all right guys out. let's close it out finally jeez yeah that is all the time we have for you i'm, today I'm literally gonna episode fucking of end the something it. original podcast my name is adrian and i'm chase and i was am and will always be coming peace out guys adrian's five seven goodbye <laughs>